another day begins inside Jumbo Junior's body. And for the components of his bloodstream, it's rush hour as usual. The red corpuscles are too busy to stop and watch those idle platelets dance. Why on earth can't you ever keep your great size 10 feet to yourself? I don't like being out in this heavy traffic. Why couldn't they all have stayed at home and turned on the TV instead? Look at all the fat. He's getting into bad habits again. Ah, there's our old friend Professor Globus on the left, with Hemo in the middle and Little Globin on the right. They've got a long road to travel today, and there are a few surprises up ahead for our corpuscle friends. What is this horrid thing? It's rubbish, actually. A broken piece of amino acid that's no use to anyone. <laughs> Professor, won't you please explain why it is that the blood vessels are so awfully full of rubbish all the time? Well, the bloodstream, as you know, reaches every cell in the human body. It delivers vital supplies like oxygen, minerals, protein, fats and vitamins. Oh, yes, and look at that. Don't forget the hormones, children. And the blood also carries away the waste products from the cells to be converted by the liver or filtered out by the kidneys. And since we're getting pretty near the kidneys, there's more and more rubbish floating about. Oh, oh. you see what I mean? Stop pushing, it won't get you there any more quickly. Before you start merging with the traffic, just remember who has the right of way. Make way, make way, please move aside, thank you. Urgent delivery of protein, thank you, and please move aside. You sugars had better go and report to the liver at once. I've caught you in the act, cholesterol. Move along there, I'll have no blockages here. And what about you? Have you proof of identity? I'm the hormone officer. Adrenaline's my name. Please, I see. could you possibly tell me what the most direct route to the heart is? Any vein will take you there in the end. Mind you, I suppose it's true that some routes are more direct than others. Go straight up here for two centimetres, then take the fork to the left and you'll find yourself in an artery. No, I mean a vein. You can't miss it. Then you'll find another policeman and ask him the way. Could you possibly give me a push start? My engine seems to have stalled when I landed here. Ah! <coughs> oh, uh... A bit rough, but thanks all the same. You, and where are your papers? What? My papers, did you say, officer? Oh, silly me, I've gone and left them at home. Would you like me to run back and fetch them for you? I'd be there and back in a minute. I quite understand, sir. It's very easy to forget your identity card when you're in a hurry. Luckily, I won't need to see your papers. <gasps> <laughs> You can't beat that for cheek, a virus in the main vein just marching along as if he owned the place. And who are you? We are law-abiding red corpuscles proceeding to the kidneys on business, subject to your approval, officer. <laughs> this filthy stuff is just disgusting. And who are these little horrors? I don't like the look of them one bit. You can say that again, Lieutenant. These girls are pure poison, ammonia molecules. They're on their way to a reformatory in the liver. They're hoping to turn them into young ladies. <coughs> hey, you, keep away from that door. You know very well you're not allowed to get off this vehicle until we arrive in the liver. Turn your back for just one minute and they take advantage. The sooner I can get rid of them, the better. Here we are in the liver. This will be your new home, and I know you're going to love the school. No, no, no! There must be some mistake. We've got no room for new Don't pupils. Don't shout at me. I'm only carrying out my orders, and according to these orders, I must deliver these girls to reform school in the liver. And as far as I'm concerned, that is that. But we're chock-a-block. In fact, things are getting rapidly out of hand. <laughs> OK, I'm off. Now that's the spirit. Try the cell next door. You might have better luck there. Oh, no, you don't.
don't. You've got another thing coming if you plan to offload your little horrors on me. I can take a hint. Bye. Anybody in? Hey! Ah! Sir, I have some wayward girls who need to be taught the error of their ways. I mean, the sob story, I know what those girls are like. But we do have a few vacancies, so you'd better send them in before I lose my nerve. Hooray! School at last! We'll break all the windows! We're going to throw in everywhere! Terrible exercise! <laughs> to me, you little horrors. Unless your behavior improves, you will be punished because I will have no other option but to expel you from this school. He can't really chuck us out, can he? Of course he can't. We're far too poisonous to let loose. He's only trying to put the wind up us. Oh, uh, really? Now watch me while I put the wind up him. Yeah, yeah take, take that! that. Oh. <laughs> Now, ammonia is poisonous, and before the body can deal with it, it must be converted into urea. I'm sick of this boring old lesson already. Leave me alone. Let Silence go. in the classroom. Let go. Let go. Now, repeat after me. We'll have less poison, never fear, and better manners as urea. Have you been drinking ginger beer? You sound as if you're on your ear. I don't really think very much of your sense of humor. Now you say it. We'll have less poison, never fear, and better manners as urea. What an unexpected pleasure and privilege to be inspected by you, sir. Uh, a visit from the Chief Inspector of Schools is something we all look forward to, sir. He's coming along the corridor. You've got four seconds to pull your socks up. How gratifying to see such a well-behaved class. Good morning, girls. Good morning, sir. Now then, girls, do you remember when you first came to this school? You were ammonia monocles in those days. Not very nice to know, I'm afraid.